Well, you know, when you step out the door, it's uh, a beautiful morning for a lot of you. Nice look of downtown Salt Lake from the tubing camera, especially with some of the holiday lights up, but a chilly uh, morning. It's 32 degrees in Salt Lake City, right at freezing. Same thing in Tooele, 17 in Park City. Uh, it's 28 in Green River as well as Cedar City. And in St. George, you're starting out at 37. We've got fair skies across much of the state, a few high clouds moving into the north, and more fog that's developed in Cache Valley up toward Bear Lake, Bear River Valley, also parts of the Wasatch Back, but they'll burn off by mid to late morning. Uh, high pressure has been building the last couple of days uh, that'll continue to allow that inversion to stick around, even though it's not getting as strong as it was last week. And as the high moves off to the east of us today, we'll get more of a southwesterly flow developing that's even more pronounced in the Pacific Northwest, an atmospheric river with a lot of moisture moving in from that direction, uh, leading to heavy precipitation and more problems with flooding, at least a big threat of that again today. And that's also ahead of a trough of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. We'll get some pieces of that breaking off and uh, bringing some big changes later in the week. In fact, we're expecting two defined storms. One moves in late tonight into Thursday that will really just be brushing by, bringing some fairly light valley rain, mountain snow to northern Utah. We might get one to four inches in the mountains. Stronger system arrives on Friday. That could bring widespread snow to much of the state, although the bulk of it will be in the north. We might end up with two to four inches in some of the northern valleys, possibly 10 to 20 inches in the mountains and an impact on the Friday morning commute. So gear up for that. But at ahead of it today, still very mild. We'll hit 56 in Salt Lake, still running about 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. So pretty comfortable for a lot of you with a lot of sunshine to enjoy. High of 66 in St. George. You'll drop near 60 tomorrow, low 50s on Friday, upper 40s by Saturday. Morning temperatures by this weekend drop all the way down below freezing, so we'll really get a taste of winter coming up. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a chance of showers. Cooler will be in the mid 40s, but only climb into the mid 30s on Friday. We'll get a break on Saturday, but another system will bring a good chance of more snow by the end of the weekend.